हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टाइप नंबर टू रिवर्स प्रॉब्लम्स एंड दिस इज आर सेकंड एग्जांपल वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स बिफोर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू गो बैक एंड सी आर लास्ट वीडियो बिकॉज वी हैव एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट इन दैट वीडियो लेट्स डिस्कस मोर ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो दिस इज माई गिवन प्रॉब्लम monthly salary in a big organization is normally distributed with mean 3000 m is equal to given and standard deviation sigma is equal to 250 what should be the minimum salary of worker in this organization so that he belongs to top 5% workers friends here as you are watching the videos in sequential manner you can identify the problem belongs to type 2 that is reverse problems but how are you going to identify in the exam whether it is a forward problem or reverse problem let's check what exactly is asked in the problem what should be the minimum salary of worker salary is asked let me check whether salary is x or not as discussed whichever mean and standard deviation is given that is x here mean and standard deviation of salaries are given see here salary mean and standard deviation is given and salary is asked that means x is asked now we are quite confident x is asked in the problem that means problem is of reverse type one more confusion as soon as you heard a reverse problem one graph should come in your mind this one we need to check from this side or this side this is important let's discuss what is asked in the problem minimum what should be the minimum as soon as you heard word minimum the first thing that should come in your mind is we should look from this side is it so let's move on and check so that he belongs to top that means we need to check from this side minimum is there top is there which side for this purpose you need to understand the problem whether it is talking about this side or this side so what is asked actually what is the minimum salary of worker in this organization so that he belongs to top 5% worker suppose there are 100 workers from 1 to 100 and it is asking what is the minimum salary so that he belongs to top 5% that means we are asking about this particular employee salary minimum salary of top 5% still they are talking about more salary top 5% top 5% minimum salary so basically they are talking about this person therefore it's actually big salary more salary we need to check from this particular side top 5% that means we need to share 5% area from this side 5% means 5 by 100 that is 0.05 my aim is to find the value of z here m we already have this is m and this is sigma m is 3000 and sigma is 250 let's find it out the value of z as discussed in the last video also first of all you need to find this particular region so that you can go back to z table and check the value this value is total discussed is 50% that is 0.5 this is 0.05 50% 5% minus this region has to be 45% that is 0.45 in z table we'll go and we'll check what is the value of z at 0.45 see here 0.45 is in between these two values either you can select the first one or you can select the second one because we do have 0.45 exactly in between let's select this this side it will be 1.6 on top it is 0.05 1.6 0.05 that is 1.65 is the value of z 1.65 let's discuss the formula x is equal to z sigma plus m z we got it as 1.65 sigma is 250 plus m m is 3000 if you simplify you will get the answer as 
3412.5 this is the minimum salary of a worker in the organization so that he will belongs to top 5% worker hope this example is clear in the next videos we'll discuss few more examples thank you